Okay. You all ready? All right. No. Okay. Yeah. Three, no. two. My phone. Three, two. My phone. We should just make like a bloopers highlights just of like the podcast. Okay. Is everybody ready? Everybody ready? Yep. Yep. Okay. Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one, one, go, just go. Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to our third Big Loud Squad podcast. I'm here, joined today by Gravity, Hola, Dark, Hola, Senores, MST, Hi, Zillity, Hi, uh, Sonic, Ignazio, what? <laughs> Typical. <laughs> The children jerked off to me. Okay. And Cloudy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And our special guest of the day is... He... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's welcome Lynx to the hey, podcast, on, everybody. Hey, Hi, Lynx, man. Lynx. Lynx. Hello, Lynx. Stop. <laughs> How are you today, yeah. Lynx? Would you like to introduce yourself? Alright, um, hi, um, my name is Lynx, um, I play Roblox, <laughs> um, yeah, nice to meet you all, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Nice yeah. Me too. <laughs> I talk to you, like, every day. <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> no, this is not what I sound like talking every day, I don't talk every day. So yeah, dude. To talk this to. is actually, okay. So let's move on to the first topic. This is actually a topic Ooh. that I think Lynx can like, you know, yeah. talk to. Uh, right. Okay, is Paradox members leaving for Rage? What do you have to say about that, actually? That's the second topic, okay. but okay. Uh, you know what? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! <laughs> the content first. All right. Um, as we were saying, um, Parado- uh, Paradox members leaving for Rage. Uh, technically, you could say I started that whole thing that made a bunch of Paradox members leave for Rage. It was technically me that started it. Um, what started it, really? Well, I just, I don't know, I just had, like, a overbuilding frustration at Paradox. It wasn't really aimed at Paradox as a whole. Um, it was more aimed at specific people and the culture in the Discord. Like, I can't really explain what the culture is, because I'm not in there anymore, but, like, um, the best way to describe the Paradox, like, Discord culture is that, like, it's filled with so many different people from different generations that, like, it doesn't really like it's not like a clan it's like a friend it's like a friends group like an og friends group and the culture in there is it just doesn't feel welcoming like um there's like no one of your own generation to talk to you're always talking to like ogs and they're not even talking about pf they'll be doing other stuff it's like you know in a team that in a phantom forces team that's like consent that hails himself to be the best they diss you for talking about phantom forces it's kind of weird really it's really weird yeah yeah oh, it's like wild. shut up wow. who plays that game really? anymore <laughs> a fortnite discord talking Whoa. about roblox <laughs> yeah, fortnite I mean... and marcus brownlee <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah but continuing on with that thing um Basically, what happened was I, I just like went off. Like people, like I tried give, I tried talking to the leaders about it. I tried talking to Tommy about it. Um, about two months before I actually left, nothing was done. One month ago, I tried to tell people, but it just wouldn't work. So, um, uh, within the week of me leaving, I just went off at everyone in the Discord. Like I roasted everyone because I was just pissed at everyone. Like in a team where there's so many players and editing just grouped up no one's playing almost no one's editing and rarely do we get gfx people to do anything for us it's like the most inactive clan they're just there for po- like they're just there to talk to each other like it's like you know oh hey it's like a, it's like a friends group it doesn't not really like a clan so yeah that's what it is well that's what how i perceived it as so without saying anything to sully their name, um, I just like went off at people. There were specific people that I really do hate. Well, everyone knows that I had beef with. Oh, well, I do. I still do have beef with Silent. That's not anything. So, yeah. Not public. Like mm. everyone kind of knows that. Mm-hmm. Um. And yeah, I just went off at people, and then I left the Discord, and I said I'd join back after I finished my EPs. Uh, and Didn't like that. Back. 
Yeah, and then I'd join back, but no, I didn't finish triples as best of. I didn't want to. I finished legit CP, which would, which marked my like tenth feature to an EP, aka like tenth EP that I had done something for in the six months I was in Paradox. So, um, I was pretty tired. Like you know, I was pretty tired. I really like it. Didn't feel welcoming in there. Like. I would think that like if you did a lot for the clan, you'd be treated well. Like people would want to talk to you and hang out with you more. But like, no, nah, it, it's not like that. That's not how it works yeah. in Paradox. It's pretty it's, much like the only really thing not. I think you get out of Paradox is like it's it's just clout. a subscriber gain, and then that's about it. Mutual mutual respect, but like honestly, <laughs> I can't really respect Paradox players or editors that much. Well, actually, the editors like are the only people I can kind of respect in Paradox the editors because while they are half of them are inactive and useless i shouldn't say useless but lazy, <laughs> lazy. paradox <laughs> really was carried by the editors like that's what separated uh paradox from xe because i'm like i'm like back in the like uh, one and a half years ago the xe players and the paradox players like xe would go straight to paradox they literally had the same standard players the thing that made the difference was the editors like, there was a big editor gap between XE and Paradox, and I yeah. feel like the editors really did carry for the most part. It's what made Paradox so good. Like, yeah. Noob. Like, they had editors like Noob, Void, Wreck. <laughs> like, those guys are living legends to this day. Like, you don't... And when you hear a Paradox, you don't think of the best ever players in the world. You either think of Pokey, or you think of the insane montages they have, and the beastly editors. Yeah, that's like... Yeah. yeah. Cause like, True. like for instance, like if you have a paradox tag, I remember watching like it was one of your like I think it was your back to back um uh, your back to back cross maps, and I was looking at the chat and somebody was like, hey, you're not in paradox, you have the equal signs, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> the first what? time I met Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that was Snowy. <laughs> yeah, that's how I got him into the community. That's how I got Snowy into the community. I told him, yo, you can snipe. Look wow. at Rage. App for Rage. Get <laughs> Yo, that's <laughs> yeah. Uh... That was snowy. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, I can't see that, but at the same time, I can. It's so weird. Snowy's snowy like... came out of nowhere, like legit. Yeah, I brought it. <laughs> yeah. Snowy was nah, like, I... "Hey, I'm here now," and then just like hit a quad in the open. It was like, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can. Like, yeah, he's insane. Yeah, Snowy's actually insane. He's cool. Cool, man. Yeah, Snowy's actually pretty good, and then he just like started becoming like, more like silent and pokey, and I was just like, mm. yeah. Oh, I, I, called, yeah, I, I, I don't him. care if I brought him into this community. I called him out for like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna <laughs> treat him differently just because I brought him in. I told him straight up, don't you dare po uh, clone silent, clone pokey. So I started watching his videos. He changed his titling style. He changed his thumbnail style. His content's enjoyable now. Like, I like watching his videos because I'm sub to him. Yeah. So, like, you know. Like, it's a, it's like a diff, it's a breath, it's like a, a breath of fresh air. Hmm. Okay. It's yeah. good. Can... How? We went off track. What the hell? I thought we were talking about why. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, let's talk about, like, wait, who did you get? Like, who did, who left Paradox Rage? I'm not going to say you did it. Even though probably somebody was like, like yeah, okay. Who left Paradox for Rage? Like, Me, you know. Triples, Cloudy, and Ons. Okay, and they all, yeah, they all went to Rage. Yeah, um, that's a lot of damage. That's a we got. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way that Cloudy says. That's nah, the first thing he I said in the it. podcast. <laughs> I do think it is a bit of a bummer that we left Paradox, like, Triples and I contributed a lot to that clan, like, we contributed for more than 10 players or editors, shit, yeah, the I, only I, thing I you, believe. The only thing you'd see on the Paradox channel was, like, a Triples app or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, like... you'd see Triples EPs so many times. Yeah. And then I'd even have my own, like, I'd have so many, like, montage parts, and it's just like, you know, like, hey, um... Like, I, I, I do believe that I, fe I feel like I carried the channel a lot. Like, um, me and Triples were the only people that finished our parts to Vengeance Revamp 5. And that really? was scrapped because the editors didn't finish. Yeah, me and Triples 
were the only people that actually finished. It was gonna and, be like a um, twenty minute app. It was it was gonna be like it was gonna be minimum fifteen minutes and it was gonna be good, but like I, I had the, I had part one. I finished it within a I finished it within two weeks and I gave my part in and the original due date was the end of August and it dragged out to January it dragged out to <laughs> January the seventh and by then only me and triples had finished and then Zero just officially quit and over and done with because like you know so someone should not have to wait that long for an ep yeah i mean i do agree that it's a bit stupid to have more than three editors on an ep i do i really against that yeah. personally i don't like it when people hog editors but then again you know like that was meant to be the last of the vengeance revamp series and it's zero probably the best player at the time um so yeah he was it makes insane sense. So yeah, like me and Triples did a lot for that team. Triples won Player of the Year in 2018 for the amount of EPs he had on the channel and the minutes and the clips he hit. Um, like heck, he was even the closer to the Hello, uh, well, what is it, the 15K Team Taj now? That was meant to be the Christmas Team Taj. Like yeah, we did a lot for that team. Like me and Triples really did a lot. Triples stepped up as an editor and took like the channel carry on his back, while everyone else was just like sitting around playing fortnite and just having fun yeah. we were in paradox like that's not right i don't think that should be what it is i feel like most of the par paradox members like actually left for yeah they really did they just they're just like, hey i'm gonna go play fortnite now and then just like sort of left <laughs> yeah, yeah they're not really loyal to the team and it's just annoying okay are they not like huh yeah. can he leave paradox yeah Cloudy still has the paradox role. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? I just Cloudy checked the paradox, paradox Discord. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Triple still has the Hall of Fame role in there. I left. The, I left both Discords because I'm probably hated by half the team already. So I just left both. I didn't want to be in there. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I don't know. It's because like I, I like I was pissed because like the Christmas team Taj, right? Let's talk about the Paradox Christmas Team Taj, which was t eventually turned out to be the 15k Team Taj. So, the original uh, set off for the Who's clips on that? that was in November. Yeah. In November, I think it was November the 5th, no, I think it was November 20th, three clip parts were given out to editors, Asus, Mist, and Kids Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Mist, as you know, went and punched a kid and got... <laughs> <laughs> on computer, exclamation marks on that because he was actually editing and I feel like he was actually editing something else and just didn't want to edit the uh, team Taj. So his part, he scrapped his part in December, like three, uh, three, uh, like two and a bit weeks before um, the actual due date, two like in a bit weeks and uh, no one was taking up the part, so I said, you know what, I'm, I might just do it for the team, okay, because I'm a nice guy, I'll do it, even though I wanted to make the Rage Christmas Team Taj really good, but yeah. no, I decided to also do two Team Tajes at the same time. So I was editing the Rage Christmas Team Taj and the Paradox Christmas Team Taj at the same time. I prioritized yeah. Paradox at the time because I thought I'd actually be treated nicer or like be like, you know, people would appreciate that I did that. Um, yeah. So I went ahead and I did it within a record, like by the time I had the clips and everything, I had about 11 days to do it. Um, I did a two minute and the two minute and 24 second part in the span of five days. Jeez, that's actually so, man, honestly, if you think about I, that, that's a lot. Yeah, and it had to be of decent standard too. I had I put a lot of effort. It was like eight hours a day, and I was like freaking out Dang. because I was I was balancing out my job at the same time too. And like it was nearly Christmas time, so the work hours would pick up from like four hours to eight hours sometimes i'd even stay up to 10 hours and i just wouldn't have it in me to get home and edit i'd just go to sleep and i'd wake up at six the next morning starting to edit and just rushing through it and yeah. it'd be rough it was rough it clearly was and they knew that but even then um and then after that asus and swizz left paradox kids uh public his preview to his part and then scrap because he was pissed we got into a bit of beef because i told him to unlist his part but he says dude there's no point the other editors scrapped um on so yeah and then by the end of that i was the only person that had finished and it's like you know december 23rd 
well, in America, it would be what? December 22nd. Yeah. No one had a part except for me, and I was the only thing. Opener was Tommy's nine on with triple, and then oh, yeah. uh, the closer was obviously the six on from triples. Yeah. Um, and that was all we had. And then Ons was like, yo, I'll take up, and I'll just quickly rush this. So Ons eventually took like a, Ons, like, took a couple, like, a week and a bit to do his part. And then he had, like, both... And then Pokey and Tommy and Blizz and whoever the leaders were. I think it was Pokey and Tommy, really. Blizz was off doing IRL life job and, like, stuff. And legit, obviously, he's in college. Yeah. Um, uh, at that stage, it was just, like, Pokey and Tommy who were the active leaders. And uh, it was really, it was really annoying because, like... Like the GFX, aka Kenji, had been given a month, uh, had been had been notified that he had to do the name tags for a while, and a two editor parts waited almost a month and a half, a month and a half for name tags, Damn. and like that really wow. pissed me. Like that really rubbed me the wrong way because, as an editor, like I grinded over forty hours in like five days. That really pisses me off when like gfx are lazy and they couldn't do name tags i'm not blaming kenji because then i heard that a computer like like something with this computer or pc happened like i don't blame kenji but like i do kind of blame like if he did have his computer broken i do blame him for not telling like the leaders in time and getting asking for another substitute to do it i do i will blame him for that uh that much he could have done himself uh, but then again, it is the leader's responsibility to find someone else and get them to do the name tags or do it themselves. Yeah. And and they didn't do that. And like we, they had two parts to Team Taj waiting on their computer, and they're just out here like you know, like hey, we have two Team Taj parts. This should have been released on Christmas. It's February. The something now. <laughs> like that really pissed me off, and was the main reasons I left Paradox. Like. Yeah, I rush and I rush a two-minute EP fully synced and well done in like five days, and it takes you guys over a month and a half to get your name tags sorted. And in the end, you didn't even put them on. It was just like two parts to a team Taj that was really badly executed on both mine and Onza's part because we were rushed to do it by Christmas, and like we were delayed because of name tags, like. That's gutting. I could have done so, so much better if I had a month and a half to do an edit. Like, I've never taken over a month to do a single edit. So, like, rearranging name tags or something, to me, feels... Like, it just feels stupid. I, I was pissed. Yeah. I think Fat had the only name tag. Found had the only name tag. Yeah, Found had the only name tag. I was so confused on that. And then it was, like, Christmassy, yeah. and I was like... Did he just put name tags on his own like clip, or did they just like, nah, not nah. do it? It was meant to be a. You see, it was meant to be a Christmas team Taj. So <laughs> yeah. I think like, he had done something. I don't blame him. He's like, like the leaders. I, the leaders are just really unorganized. I think it, it's not. It's not Kenji's fault. It's not any specific editor's fault. Actually, no. I will blame the people that scrapped the original three editors that were meant to scrap. I will blame them. They took up the part and it even says like when you get given a paradox team Taj file there's a note that goes in there telling you what you need to use for opener what you need you need to use for closer what day it's due and what are the consequences if you scrap and um it's pretty it's pretty formal i must admit well done tommy um but yeah it was like delayed for so long and it was it's it was abysmal like I, I, as a leader i can it's just so unorganized and it, it just pissed me off because i could have I could have spent so much more effort on my own team's Christmas team Taj. I could have made it better. Like, you know, it, it, I should have just benefited my own team, you know? Yeah. And that's what I did. I said, you know, screw Paradox. Like, my time in here, the, e the EPs I've edited, the EPs I've saved, like, I saved the likes intro from it being scrapped entirely from Ons. I saved, like, I edited a part to Eternity 2. I, I did, like, one of the only two parts to VR5. I did me and Triples' dual Taj, and I did, um, I did one more thing, I just can't, oh yeah, Shots Fired 8 by Legit, like, Legit's EP, I, I, like, 
that EP has been trying to he's been trying to get editors for ten months, and I was the first editor to take it up and actually finish a part. You know, yeah. like come on, and like like the only person that's really been thankful for the EP apart from Triples because he's obviously my IRL best friend is legit. He's the only one that's actually appreciated the fact that I made an EP for them. Yeah. That I, I didn't scrap like he he because obviously waiting ten months for an EP is just abysmal. So like yeah. hey, I gotta help him. Hmm. So yeah, he was the only one that I actually thanked. I do appreciate that. Like when people when edit when players appreciate their editors, that's good. I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. A paradox. The thing is, it, it's like. The players in the team don't treat their editors well at all. They want it rushed. They want it a specific way, and they want so many high standard clips to be in there, and it's just really demotivating. They have their own song preferences, and they Trey, just no, go. rush the editors. I'm doing hey. something. I'm podcast. <laughs> nice. Don't disturb me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I know there is. I don't care. What do you do? Well nice. then, I, I feel like just people join Paradox just mood. to get the clout. <clears throat> yeah, people nah, it do. does. It really, it kind of is. Like, why? Like a lot of people join Paradox because, oh my god, it's Pokey. And, oh like, my god, stuff Pokey! Like that. No way. I never joined Paradox for Pokey. I never wanted to join Paradox when I joined this community. It was more because my friends were in there. Like I had Puma, Triples, Kids. Yeah, honestly. I wanted to yes. join them. Like you know, like I want them to edit for me. I want to be in a high standard EP with them. Like oh, when I if I was in raids, I couldn't do anything with them. It was, <laughs> it was kind of upsetting. Yeah. So I grinded for Paradox and I won and I got in. That's what I and... did, except I did it with Rage because I was best friends with um Typical and Sonic, and they had both gotten in Rage. And I yeah. didn't, and I was like, are you joking? <laughs> so I was, like, grinding, and I ended up yeah. being surprise recruited, and I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how, yes. That's how, uh... Funny enough, our uh, names, like, line up in the, um, you can, uh, oh, yeah, list. Yeah. yeah. I remember... It's just that editor-to-player relationship that really is missing in Paradox, because you have high-standard editors that just get demotivated, and, like, some of them are really lazy. Yeah. Some of them have their own reasons for scrapping, and like it's just that the I f the editing standards in Paradox flew too high, and that kind of screwed over Paradox. Like they they succumbed to their own high standards. Like after I feel like after like like the peak of like Paradox standards was when the RC PDX uh, PDX TGC was the by far the highest standard EP. Uh, the highest standard RC or applicants that got in, like every single person that got in for editors and players, that RC are insane, like insane. Yeah. Sarah, Andy, Triples, Red, they were insane. Oh yeah, like, Red, genuinely yeah. insane. And like the editors, kids, OP man, XP. Red VFX, who was extremely insane, and Swizz was surprise recruited. Like, Swizz on his Bobby ult, insane. Yeah. Like, every single yeah. person in that RC for editors and players is insane. And that was the peak of RC. Like, that was the peak of the RC standards. It just went downhill after that. Yeah. Going on to my RC, which came after, I feel like my player RC was the only RC that met the standard of the last RC. Like, after that, Silence was a, Silence was good, but it wasn't as good as mine. Your RC Founds was, crazy, was like... Yeah. Founds was like... Ugh, like, you know, everyone has <laughs> I... some things about it. And Chironix was, like, kind of low, but it's still good, but, like, not as good as last RCs yeah. at all. And the editors, like... Like, come on. Like, we got... Like, Ons was below standard. At the time, Mist was barely on the edge. Uh, they were about to cuck Anathema, which I find really sad, but I'm glad they didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, Asus was a shining prodigy, and uh, who was the other person that got recruited in that RC for an editor? There was like six, I'm pretty sure. Who? Did they change it now that like um, they're like accepting like montage editors more than like uh, yeah. people who just like show yeah. their like skill? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why Matt edits got cucked. That's why Kaya got cucked. That's why Bortrux got cucked. Kaya, um, he's had beef with Paradox before. That may have been a reason. 
I can't always assume, but like, basically, um, Bortrukes, I feel like seriously got cut. Seriously. Oh, yeah. On yeah. Sure. That was For the sure. biggest cuck. And For I sure. find like that one hit me personally too, because I, I was like, to I, mo I begged Bortrukes to app Paradox for an entire month. Yeah. And then yeah. I was I was giving him ops on every single clip and cinematic, like every time I'd ask him, yo, show me a preview. And I'd go back and I'd give him ops and I'd tell him what to improve on and I'd help him out with his ideas and I'd show him execution. It's like and then even in the end, like his art like his re A project file just wouldn't render. So I he gave me his project file and all the clips and stuff and I edited and I uh, rendered out um, his edit without CC and RSMB and black bars. So I really was like supporting Bortrix through that RC. And same with Etho too. Oh. But like we're focusing on Bortrix because he got cucked. Yeah. And like it was really heartbreaking to see he didn't get in. Like he deserved it. He grinded. And he just got like cucked because of his non montage style, which isn't true because like. Like, he has a montage style, like, he was, he edited for me, he's edited, like, for me the most out of anyone, I must admit. Um, he edited an EP that him and Bamboo were meant to do for me in Rage before I joined Paradox. It was, it was going to be called Celsius, and Bortrux edited part one of that, and it was a really, it was a really nice montage style, like, I can link it later, but he did yeah. have, and it was good. Like, it was really nice, but he got cucked just for being, like, original and, like, going out of his way to, like, make his edit good. He got cucked for that, and I find that really stink. Yeah. If Vulture, like, like, honestly, Baltrux was, like, he really deserved to get in. Because I remember seeing it, and I was like, there's no way he's not getting in. Yeah. Matt Edits had a really good Paradox RC this time, too. He got cucked. It was really unfortunate. And, like, it's just like you know, Paradox did not doesn't appreciate the editing like the editor side of things that much, and that really got to me. Um, yeah, it was just like in its current state, Paradox. It's not Paradox. Paradox as a clan is still number one. It's still good. Like it has the most views. It has the most subs. subs yeah. But that's about it, and it has the highest standard. That's it though. Um, other clans feel like the atmosphere in them is better, they're more active, the standards aren't as high, and they're more open to the community. That's what I feel like. And I wanted to do that with Rage. I wanted to like lead Rage well, lead it the right way. And the quest to 1k is my proof that I'm doing something right. Me and Triples are doing the right things. Like, yeah. that's the growth. Yeah. It's pretty interesting, though. Who leaves Paradox for Rage? <laughs> I mean, it's... <sighs> Rage is probably the second best clan at the moment right now. Because I would agree with that. Just, but, yeah. like, once again, numbers are gonna just sully us. Like, you know, we're gonna... We're, like, so many times less than Paradox. And then that's just because of numbers. Yeah. But, in my opinion, I think Rage is still the best clan. Because, like, obviously I'm biased. And I lead yeah. it. So, of course I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do feel like, I do feel like, in terms of uploads, in terms of how active VCs are, like, I'm in, I've been in every major clan Discord, team Discord, I, I've been in the Banshee team Discord, nev uh, as a guest, I'm in the XC team Discord as a guest, I've been in the Paradox team Discord as a player editor, and I'm in Rage as a leader, and like, going around and seeing it, I can, like, it's not hard to tell that, Rage is the superior one, and Triples agrees with me, because he's in all of them too. He's seen it all. I'm in the Banshee one, and nobody talks in there. Like, oh, Banshee died. Yeah. Banshee just died. It's really unfortunate. I literally left it, the like, Awakened one was bad too. The Awakened one, before it ended? Yeah. Nobody talked in there. Yeah, yeah. And if it was, Ooh. like, and it was probably just, it was probably just a comment about, like, somebody, like, about how somebody hates somebody else or something. That's just how the Awakened one was. Only yeah. Fire Lord was, like, the only one, like, talking in, like, the Banshee private Discord. Everybody else was just, like, not responding to him like, yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, and the leaders kept on getting, like, passed around. around. Like, always... first it was Blitz, then it was, like, Gemini, I think. Then, uh, then Fire Lord. 
honestly, I don't think I've other people. Like, whenever you ask for an F, they never edit it or they just sit there and ignore you. Yeah, yeah. honestly, Banshee yeah. used to be good. Ba it yeah. Used to be yeah. Like I don't know how, but like Blitz, like Blitz, in my opinion, was a great leader as a person. Like no, as a, as a person, I didn't like him, but as a leader, you could. I had some sort of respect for him. Like he had big editors like Crab come in and help out. That's Crab really did. Oh, yeah, Crab help carry Banshee, in my opinion. Oh yeah. Like I don't know how did Blitz pay them or something or what. <laughs> like you know, like I'm trying to figure out how myself, but like you know. It's probably influence because, like, now in our team Taj, in this 1k team Taj that we got, it's me, triples, and Campbell. And, like, you know, we got people, like, we got other people helping out from other, like, sides of the community to help us grow. Like, triples is best of montage by me and Kaya. So, like, it's, it feels like people, like, the more, like, I don't know, a clan's success is really based off their leaders and what their leaders do. And for that, like, that's what me and Triples have always believed. Like, if we as leaders are good, we are high standard leaders that or, uh, that are active and put effort into the team, our team will do the same. And I think that's true because now if you, like, when me and Triples are grinding Paradox, Rage wasn't actually that active. We weren't doing that much for Rage. Neither was the team, you know? We just expected it to run smoothly and Puma was obviously playing Fortnite. <laughs> so like you know mm -hmm. expected yeah. it, we just expected it to run smoothly but that's not the case it's not how it works um we and then when we started giving a lot to rage we soon got people editing for us we had people like coming up to us and they wanted to join rage and they wanted to uh, us to hold an rc and they wanted us to edit for them and like you know they wanted to do dual tages with us like a common topic in the x like we had a lot of talk like people ask like can we do a xex rage team taj and i'm like not right now like at this stage like we're getting up to the point where we're really active and as a team i thank all of you because like without you guys rage wouldn't exist you know it's like yeah. like leaders aren't there to order the team around the leaders have to serve the team it's like you, leaders should be the ones putting in the most effort for the team. They should be the carries of the team. Leaders. Not players, not editors, not GFX. It needs to be the leaders that do the, that put in the hardest amount of work. And I feel like that's true for me and Triples, because we put in damn amounts of work. It's like, we're making sure this team works out. We're going to make it hit 1k. <laughs> we just need that blow up EP. Where is it? <laughs> yeah. Shiloh, please blow up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that frag movie better blow up. It will. I hope it does. It, be it better. It better. I swear. <laughs> I just did a whole it will. Bigger, I like your ideas about it so far, but that that's top secret. What's your ideas? Yeah, for? top yeah. secret. Top, top secret. secret. Woo. Okay, but going back, to, um, going back to the rage like RC thing, I actually was like, I was in a lobby today, and I was just staring at the chat because I wasn't, I wasn't like playing, but I was just staring at the chat, and um, it was like two like people, and they were like, I hope rage has an RC soon, because like I totally want to go for it, and there was like like three different people just having a conversation about rage, and I was like, that's that's cool, <laughs> that's pretty cool, <laughs> yeah, and they were just like. It's like they weren't talking about paradox or anything. It's just like that's the that was like, I don't know the topic just, of what, the topic what they're talking like about. Yeah. It's like I don't think like everybody's goal is paradox now. It's like people yeah, are yeah. actually like going for rage and like, yo, I can get in this clan if I really try hard. Cause like, the thing about yeah, the thing new RCs is that the skin thing. Right, I kind of don't like the skin thing. That's like, I that's hate it. I agree and disagree with you on that. Um, yeah. If it weren't for the skin thing, I would have never made Paradox in the first place. I really, like, for people like me that never hit, like, good, insane bangers, but were just consistent, like, we'd always get outshined by people who'd hit, like, insane stuff, like yeah. Sounds, for example, hitting the most insane stuff, but he's not that consistent. He yeah. wasn't that consistent. He was just hitting randomly insane stuff, like, you know that really stood out like like you'd never like people would never heard of me until i joined paradox like you know it's like like that gave me a chance to prove myself 
like to prove who's the best and like at the end of the RC when I got that first place I was proud to say I'm one of the best clippers in the community because I came out with the best RC and that like that just gave me a big confident boost in my clipping ability like you know it gave me like a pat on the back like you know hey I'm one of the best in this community I'm happy yeah but I do see where you're coming from. It really, like, I don't, I wouldn't want to grind for a clan. Like, Paradox used to be worth grinding for. I will admit, it used to be worth grinding for. Yeah. But it just doesn't feel like it. Um, I do have a separate RC style that I'm going to implement after the 1k team Taj. Um, like, the old RC style isn't good. Neither is the Paradox RC style. So instead, I'm going to, like, have a new RC method that I'm going to start doing after Ooh. the 1k team Taj, so like yeah i don't know like the community needs a bit of change so like i have some ideas i'm gonna try them out hopefully it's gonna work um i can say it's not gonna be a grind rc i don't want it to be like that but i don't want it to be like oh you submit old clips either there will i feel like there should be some sort of like checklist like i feel like rage should um like have a method that it kind of gets people who are active, but doesn't cuck people who can't hit certain clips. You know yeah. what I mean? Because at the end of the day, not everyone can hit like seven ons as much as other people. Like me. Not everyone else can trip up like, as well as other people. Like I was a main feeder. I still am a main feeder. I can feed better than most people. But when it comes to trick shotting, I'm gonna miss point blanks ninety percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, so like you know it's that balance i blew up on trick shotting like because i could never feed like yeah i could hit like a five on and just be happy with that i was like yes i hit a five on and then i actually started like m like trying to main feeding because like i went like a whole i think a week without um without trick shotting at all and i was just going for feeds feeds, feeds yeah and yeah then, like, i actually started like c like i hit like a couple and i was like yo this, I'm actually gonna get good at this, <laughs> and then I didn't. <laughs> but like, like the, huh? The more like montages that I've like watch, it gets me more motivated to like go for feeding than trick shots, because like feeds look so good in edits, but at the same time yeah. they take up like a lot of the edit. So like, mm. I mean, it's clean. Feeds make your life. Yeah, I like it. That's why, like, people like Zara have, like, 15-minute RC, like, f RCs, 15-minute uh, montages, because he would, like, grind for feeds, feeds, like, and he would get, like, triple to six ons. Those are, like, insane. Um, but, like, because, like, the, I had, obviously, I just released Incognito Revamped, and it was full of trick shots, pretty much, like, maybe, like, two feeds per part, probably. Except two thirds part, of the, just person, trick shots. The person on the first part didn't know what he was doing and didn't save the project file. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was like three minutes. But honestly, it could have been like seven or six, maybe five. If I yeah, especially with me. like four editors. Yeah. Mine was really scuffed since it was made like Yours a year was made ago. A long time ago, and I didn't want to have to make yeah. you, like remake a part because that would just be like rude. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, it's still a good montage. I'll just use his part again because that's why I like unlisted on everything. I was just like, oh, it had like a hundred views. Nobody will see this. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I um. It... Yeah, I think feeding is harder than trick shotting. Like, there's there's uh... other people that are like, it takes skill to trick shot. It, or it takes skill to feed, but, like, it takes skill for both, but, like, more than... It does yeah. take skill for both. Um, in that situation, I do feel like trickshotting is definitely the luckier of the two. If you had yeah. to compare it side by side, trickshotting is luckier than feeding. Like, it's all about the timing, getting the timing right. Like, you can't, like, your timing's never going to be accurate. There is luck involved in your timing. Not to mention, like, the inaccuracy that you have from a BFG or, like, an SFG, whatever you're trick shotting with. The thing about feeding, uh, there is a lot of things that are luck, like the lineups you can get. Like, the your team is the only luck, like, the main luck factor. Will your team split you? Yeah. And, like, that's or will the other team factor. split you? 
No, no, the other team, the thing is, you can control the other team by killing them, but your yeah, team, true. you cannot control. The most you can do is disable everyone else in the game and, and make sure you're quick and pray. Make sure you're, you're in front You need of to get in front of people and you need to be quick. Yeah. Like, you need to be aggressive as a feeder, that's the thing. Uh, that's what makes, like, feeding more skill-based, because you need to know, it's more game sense-based, like, how am I gonna get there first before my team? What What's gonna be the spawn point if my team rushes their spawn and they're not gonna spawn there? You need to know when to switch and rotate, where to look. It's it's more technical, so feeding, while trickshotting does take a certain amount of skill, feeding is clearly more skilled. Yeah. Well, it got harder for me for feeding because I always loved insta swapping, and when they took it out, it just like got me to like um, slow down a bit. Because then I would like be so used to like insta swapping that I would accidentally insta swap, and it would take longer for me to like get another kill, and yeah, that would just yeah. like mess me up. Yeah, it's all about how you uh, got like how you started playing as a clipper, like. When I first joined the community, up to rank 80, I think, I actually didn't know how to shift CC. I was hitting clips just sprinting. Like, wow. my first feed, which was a six on head with Kalat, um, it was just literally me crouching and sprinting. Like, no shift CCing or anything. Like, that's the cleanest you'll ever see me be. Um, that's not true, but <laughs> I really didn't, like, I didn't know how to try hard. I never grew up try harding. Well, you could say in this community, try harding. Um, I was pretty clean from day one. I didn't do in softs and I didn't do that much. Um, for a while, I when I was try harding, I will uh, I did insta swap. But even when I did insta swap, I'd be the number insta swapper. Like I wouldn't use my mouse. I'd just use numbers after. I'd like do it so it looked smooth on my screen, because like if I use my mouse, it feels like the animation would go wonky, and I didn't like that. So I used my numbers one and two for insta swapping, and people thought fine. Like people think that's weird. Mm. Like, but then I just stopped insta swapping, and then it like when the insta swap update came in, it's like doesn't really cuck me that much. The bolt back in thing that kind of screwed me over, but I eventually adapted to it, and then now when I feed, I'm either using fast guns like the Scout or the Mosin. But when I'm using the intervention, I'll do like the no scope frame, which uh -huh. allows me to bolt like back scout. in. So yeah, I'll you just like do it? that. No, I like the scout. Mm. It'd be it'd be cool though. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Going back to like what you said, um, on how like, you, like triples taught you, I'm guessing, right? Um, the way it worked was I and I was invited to his house. I'm like, yo, okay, sure. And um, he said, hey, hop on this computer over here to my right and uh, <laughs> let's play Roblox. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, dude, trust me. It's not that bad. I played it. I had fun. And it was fun. I, I got past rank one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first map I played was Metro. And Heck I'm yeah. out here going two and seven with an intervention because i Holy actually man. hated the intervention wow. Wait, like... to this day to this day i've hated the intervention i just hated it like as a feeder that hated the intervention it's like what the hell are you if you hate intervention like uh i had a really old account and i tried playing like the fan forces beta before and i remembered i would like just walk around the map like aimlessly just aiming at like random people because i didn't know what to do and so i just like got like one kill per round because i didn't know how to play and then i got that account banned and then a year later i made the account that i have today and then got back into pf and that's how i got into the clipping community nice yeah, yeah. It was. I was like that too. I was just aimlessly wa walking around, getting killed, and I feel like triples would just shake his head every time I just walk into the enemy spawn, and like I die like a noob. Just like spawns <laughs> on you walking into a wall. <laughs> that, that, that probably happened. That's honestly how like, it was with Zillity, because like <laughs> he, <laughs> dude, I would I would like sit next to him, and he would be like on the computer. On my account, like just try, like aimlessly spinning, trying to hit hmm. something. Cause I was like, you should trick shot. You should really try to jump off a building, spin and shoot. And he was just like, 
okay, so it's easy enough. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> he's actually, like, gotten big in this, com- like, well, it, big-ish. Because, like, he got into Banshee within, like, how many months were you in the community? One or two. Like, one or, yeah. And he got into Banshee, like, straight away. But I remember him, he would just, like, walk into a wall. <laughs> and he'd be mad. <laughs> Like I didn't like I didn't well. teach him how to like I didn't teach him how to like feed because like obviously I'm not the best of feeders. I was like, you should try trick shotting. And he was just it was funny. Yeah, I was like yeah. Lynx, that like whoever said that they just walk into the spawn, I would just sit there and just pray and yeah. just hope for the kill. Spin. <laughs> I would stand and just spin without jumping, just sitting there spin on the Spin in place. Dude, I, I, dude the day he was first trick shot, he was on my account. And I was, I was like, I look, and I look over, and I was like spamming him on Discord for some reason. And I look over at him, and he just jumps off and does like this, like he tried, he tried to do a 360, but he like looked behind him. It was like, it was like a 180 ish. It was like a 540. It was like a 540, and he just shot randomly like at the trees over by um, it was on, on was Radvod, it was on Ravon, and he just shot over at the trees and got a headshot hit marker, and he was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> And he was like, yo, Shiloh, look! And I was like, what? And he was like, I hit! How do I record? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I remember oh, in, like, the old crane, I would always just trick shot people that were, like, near crane, because I, I didn't know how to, like, aim, like, at uh, cross-map trick shots. So oh, I always yeah. just went at, like, towards, like, the gas station and just tried to hit from there and oh. freaked out. My, seven, my first 720 was literally, like, I trick shotted someone that was like right in front of the ladder on crane. My first trick shot was with the AWS off of crane. I mean, like my first crane trick shot. I had accidentally fall- fell him off a crane, did like a 180, and just shot at like a person like 30 studs away from me and got <laughs> and got the kill. And I was like, no way. I think I still only have like one on trick recorded. <laughs> I think I only have one triple recorded, and I already have the link. Here it is. Oh no. Oh no! We got yeah, on top, it was in no, highway. No. Don't worry, it was in highway. All tr- uh, headshot. I was with a really old friend that like I went with when I got <laughs> into the community. In highway. <laughs> I didn't record my voice. The voice that you hear in the video is from another person. Who? Oh, uh, yeah. It was a guy named PJ. I'm still friends with him on Roblox, but we barely talk anymore. Yeah. I think I asked Shiloh Damn. for tips on how to trick shot a woman. Yeah, you did. Oh I remember God. him asking me for like. Um, I freaked out so much. It that was like around that. the time you were trying to teach Zillity too. Yeah, that was back. I like... have to go off topic, guys. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine because it's like. It, it doesn't we, matter. We're we talking about like actually good topics. Yeah. Yes. Actually, how about we talk Real about this? Stuff. Let's talk about what would what would we do if Phantom Forces was to, like end entirely, just like right now? Phantom Forces just got tickets awesome. taken down. Me and Cloudy would probably just I go mean... into Minecraft. Yeah, I'll throw a party. Throw a party. PF I'm, gone. I mean, guys, my. No, I'm gonna go yeah. into freaking uh, yeah, Minecraft sure. editing. Yeah. Minecraft. Uh, I would probably do Minecraft, Minecraft editing as well. Minecraft, Minecraft editing. editing. Yeah. I probably play I'm that. I'm never gonna go into Fortnite. Never. I would not. Yeah. Honestly, Fortnite isn't Fortnite. really my type of game. Fortnite. I would just go fingerboard. I would go fingerboarding full time. Fingerboard. Oh, fin- gravity, the new fingerboard. Yeah, bro, I'd make myself Shot a the head. tape edit. You're not gonna be exotic tiger in fingerboarding, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He's a fingerboarder. <laughs> no, we, yeah, gotta, we, we, gotta turn into, we gotta turn into exotic fire and just start doing gotcha. <laughs> Start doing gotcha. I could have bought Nick. Gotcha studio. Gotcha yeah, guys, I'm taking gotcha full time. No! Gotcha, gotcha studio forces. trick shots. Gotcha forces. Gotcha I'm gonna forces. practice prostitution. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. But like but, seriously, I would like go back to my roots of my channel and like start doing like Minecraft more. I'm so Wait, what is it... Hmm. Before I deleted all my uh, old videos, uh, wait, you deleted all me your- and, me and Zildi started YouTube at the exact same time back in like 2016, <laughs> and we would do like challenges, and it was so bad. Oh, you can like, re-upload. What was that one challenge Guys, that was super popular? Welcome to did? our pizza challenge. Today we're gonna <laughs> try to eat as much pizza as possible. Is it Chubby like the- Bunny challenge. <laughs> God, I almost died. 
Dude, you can hardly get a challenge with the died. lips. Dude. Did your sister do that? Yeah, my sister did the Kylie Jenner challenge with a shot glass. And she came oh, into my room my and she was like... I thought you were going to say shot gun. Shot I love sucking on my girl with <laughs> shot gun. Yikes, okay then. Oh, I know what I could do. Like, start streaming more. Oh, yeah. Like on Twitch and stuff. But what would you stream? Minecraft. Fortnite. And Mark as <laughs> Fortnite. Well, I mean, if I would, it's either I would go into like Minecraft and like stream and continue doing videos like that, or like still be in Roblox, just like not in like PF. Yeah. Maybe. <gasps> Dude, Arsenal would be. Or try fun. to revive Honestly, it. Honestly, Arsenal would be a fun game to make. I'd switch to another game. Roblox. I wouldn't want to disappear immediately. Yeah. Switching to another game would be a good idea. Like, Pokey would die. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, <laughs> those who remain, like, I was playing that with Zack Yak and uh, Radical yesterday. That has oh. really good, like, graphics. It's not really something you can edit, but the new oh. game, the new Battle Royale <laughs> alone, that's like a really clean game. Like, it has good lighting, nice FOV. Like, <gasps> oh, I just realized good. something. I bet a lot of people who, wanted, who would like to, like, stay in the Roblox community would, like, play Struce it or something. Honestly, oh, Pokemon I know. should start doing what Pokemon should start doing with Sin is Wait, doing. I know. Sin is actually bre could... branching out to other games. I could yeah, just turn could... into like a He's Roblox dev because I got into you. like I want to like get into like building and Roblox and like being a developer. Maybe I could like move into that. I respect that. Build a new PS. Yeah. Build a new PS. <laughs> yes. Build a yeah, new I FPS you. game. Let's I wonder like I'm gonna be made new PS two. Have you guys played Core Five? Let's rebuild Core Five. Have you guys uh, played like yeah, Roses or Life of an Otaku? I've never. I want to like create a game no. like that, a oh, single player game like that. Scary games. Well, not no, not like a scary game, but like I just want to make like a single that? player adventure game. How about that? I want to like. Oh, me and Shiloh played a, a scary game the other day. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Did you peek in your pants? <laughs> we were, it was called like. Wait, what was it called actually? Uh, it was something about the sewers. It was called Dead Silence the Sewer, and it's a two-player yeah. horror game. But it, it was like it was like. You could honestly it was pretty it bad. Like 15 minutes. It was bad. But it was a lot of walking. MST there wasn't this left thing. halfway through and left okay, me. Um... Yeah, we're gonna bring that up, MST. You left halfway no, through and not. left me to do it by myself on my phone. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you pee? With your the pants? lights off. No. But yeah. I have to look. You though. you, you poo pooed your pants. She you absolutely shitty. shitted and cummed. <laughs> they don't like, I, I, <laughs> all I want to do is just like make like a single Shut player up, game, talk about that. like a story based single player game, and then like, yeah, just like Bye. build upon it, and then probably become a developer and create another FPS game <laughs> if I learn how to script. Phantom Forces like, Two. Scripting's probably hard. Better. Yeah, it's hard. It's not as good. It's not as like easy as in Minecraft, where it gives you like actual like command blocks to work with. You actually have to have like script knowledge in order to like make stuff happen. Yeah. And any other plugin is ass. So like. <laughs> <laughs> How about we? Hmm. Do you want to talk? We about, like, Do you want to talk about we... like summer plans? Like, yeah. Oh, I'm, going this summer. <laughs> I'm moving this summer. Oh really? Wow. Oh. New York. Oh. My birthday is during New York. You're actually moving yeah. to New York? That's like... Jeez, that's like... I think... Well, for summer, I'm gonna go on a cruise, and then we're gonna, I'm like, go to... Going to the it's gonna be hard, since I have, like, a lot of good memories and where I live right now. Yeah. And... Um... Just leaving it all behind. I heard Lynx, like, react. What? What's, um... Like, what are you gonna do this summer? Maybe. <laughs> Ah, well, um, the my, my summer, compared to your summer, well, my summer is at Christmas time, so oh. I'm waiting a oh. while. Oh, but, what? Alright, so yeah, my winter like plan, uh, I get two weeks holiday during my winter, aka your, um, uh, your, yeah, your summer break. Uh, but I can tell you that in April, like, the clo like that's near your summer break. Me and Triples are going to China in April for really? 10 days on a class trip. Ooh. Yeah. Dude, you're actually, pretty my school's taking a class trip. Like, it's Pull like, a beer back. Sophomores. But, um, 
My class is taking a trip. I mean, like, okay, the sophomores of my class are taking a trip to Colorado, and I'm really depressed because I want to go to Colorado. Colorado seems hmm. nice. I've been to Colorado. Been to Colorado. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's. I think that's where they're going. They're going that's to like my, Denver Aurora area. That's where my uncle lives. <laughs> oh yeah, but um, yeah, <laughs> they're going during this summer. I'm pretty sure. Well, my grandma's birthday. Yeah. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be really doing anything this summer, honestly, though. I'm gonna be at my house a lot. I'm gonna be at his house a lot. Yeah. I'm just gonna be working over my summer that, at the end of I the think, year. I think. Oh, dude, I might get a summer job actually. I'm camping. Honestly, it is worth it. Like, oh, you get lots I'm of going money. to. You don't need to feel guilty I'm about buying hungry. stuff every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to uh. Disneyland. Wait, that one's in Florida? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Florida. Sorry, there. It's like, I'm back. It's like two different sides of the world. Disneyland and then Disney World. California and Florida. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to Canada. You're going to oh, I just realized. <laughs> I just I'm realized I had a thing to say about, like. Are you actually? I swear I heard someone say I'm going to gang bang. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Lots I wish, but like, nah, sorry, I have to download it. <laughs> yeah. I totally forgot How to do say you download a YouTube video like of your own? Um, uh, well, just go to one of those sketchy links that's like, hey, download <laughs> your own video. <laughs> I but have, like, yeah. See, the thing is, um, I actually did that the other day for my band, ERC. Yeah, the Paradise thing got copyright strike. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just like, I used to be such a good clipper. This is meant to be my debut montage as a clipper. Like, it had high standards. Oh, yeah. That, that was a 10 was man, crazy. split 13 man, that I didn't even know I had. Like, what the hell? If you were to look at my really old videos, you would see that I had a video <laughs> titled Six Clips in One Game, and literally most of those clips were just three freaking, like, kills in a row. <laughs> okay, well. Like, in defeat. I think that we. Oh my god, no way. Three on headshot. I think we did. I think we talked about a lot. Like, I, I actually liked the topics we talked about. Thank you, Lynx, for okay. actually coming out and, like, asking to be in our podcast. It was really, yeah, nice. it was really nice talking to you. It was fun. You became our yeah, own thanks, professor. <laughs> you gave us a whole. I'm like, like, the wise one of this community. He talked more. He gave us a guys. whole presentation about the PF community. Hey, but that's Thank fine. You. Yeah, it was like. Really, yeah, that's fine. Really like, that's I'm really the wise time. guy. I'm like the old guy of the community. Like, old man, like, you're the <laughs> PF guy. He's our grandpa. <laughs> Y'all made me shrink, but I was strangely <laughs> erected the whole time. But can't say anything too weird. Grandpa, when I'm probably. You can't call me a grandpa when I'm more new gen than probably all of you, though. To be fair. I st I I started playing I PF like. When it came out, but then my main account got banned. And I Same. Like, I started what? playing mid 2017. Same. I started in May, I think, in 2017. I started August. Sonic. Oh, what is I the slowness? Early. I started clipping late 2017. Oh no, I think May is when I started my YouTube channel. I think it's like, I think I started like early 2018. Never mind. XX underscore Dark Wolf. No. Oh Dark no. Wolf. <laughs> He's talking yeah, about I his yeah, old yeah, actually, I started, like, early 2018. Okay, but yeah, uh, that was a good podcast, if I do have to... That was, like, myself. a really good informal podcast. Exactly. We gotta equal it oh, out. Yeah, I didn't hear it too much this time. Probably we gotta equal ones. it out. Can somebody hear it real quick? Can somebody hear it? No! <laughs> Wait, my, my phone... I like it! Good. Nice, nice try. I'm really... If sorry. you guys are black or are filthy... Oh no! <laughs> okay, I think we Please end don't. the podcast on this note. Have Sorry, fun, guys, everybody. Take you. care. Right. We have to equal this. We, 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 we have to equal this podcast out with a fun one next week. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Thank you all. Thanks for watching our podcast. Thank you for watching and listening to our podcast. If you had fun, make sure to leave a comment. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, and that. Turn and on. By the way, we'll give you free V bucks. <laughs> We Absolutely sexually abuse the like button. Make sure to join the Discord so you can have a chance to actually be a feature in one of our podcasts. Because we'd love to talk to all of you. It would be great. Do you say you're going to be a future in our podcast? A feature! You're going to be a future. Okay. You did say future. Yeah. You got a bully shallow for everything future. Okay. Anyways, uh, go watch another podcast, idiots.
We'll, we'll see you. Fun, later. Get out of here. No one likes you. Just kidding. <laughs>